Hey guys, this is just um, a really quick um, tutorial about how to resize images to be something to be a lot smaller. Um, there'd be a few reasons for this. The, the main reason for me to do this video is for the guys on the forum to see how they can reduce the file sizes they can put them on our forums. Um, the other reason why you may be wanting to do this is um, instead of watermarking your all your pictures, you could also reduce the um, the file sizes and the quality of the pictures. Um, you know, which is just enough that's good enough for web, but not good enough for print or to do anything else with it. Um, and to be honest, I prefer to do that. That's why I don't tend to. Um, I don't tend to put lots of really high res stuff up on Flickr and things like that. I tend to to keep them quite low quality. If somebody wants them, they're gonna ask me for them. That's the way I work things out anyway. So um, for this quick tutorial, what I've done is I've actually made a Lightroom file. Um, we're gonna look into uh, Lightroom and Photoshop a little bit, mainly Lightroom today, as um, I haven't I've run out of time to make all the Photoshop stuff. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to import a Lightroom file, which I'm going to save. I'm going to put this on the um, on the uh, website so people can just download it and use it whichever way they want to. So this is the file here, right? It's got pixelated photographer and then it's got uh, LT, uh, I'm sorry, LR template, Lightroom template. So to install it, just double click on it. Uh, in my case, it doesn't actually know... Um, which uh, program I've got. So it's, um, it, then it asks you, uh, to in, would you like to install the template? I just click install, and then that's it. It's installed, that's it, it's done. So um, the way to check that is actually up here in your file menu. And if you hit the export button, um, you'll notice that something here has appeared called pixelated photographer. Um, what it will do is it will uh, save your, um, your file at the at the best quality for 400k so you know and generally you know web images are about 50 to 60k you know uh, decent enough for a decent size so i think 400k is is plenty and what it will do is it will um, make a folder on your desktop and it, um, called pixelated photographer and it'll put the file in there at the right resolution in jpeg uh, format um these things, these options here, you can change a lot of these and, um, you know, you can change the file name sequencing, you know, however you want to do it, you know, your name, XYZ, sequencing, very, very complex stuff if you want to go into it. Um, you could also change the JPEG specs, the actual quality of the image. At the moment, I've kept it 100%, um, percent, but I'm reducing the actual file size, so it's actually shrinking down the file in a very different way. You can also resize it to fit, you know, if you've got a blog or a forum and you know that the forum is only, um, the blog is only a certain width, you could change your, your size and everything else to do that. And then, you know, make sure you, you can have all your uh, metadata and stuff like that. Is You can keep all of that. And then at the end of it, it'll um, show you in the finder or on your window to uh, show you where the file is. So as an example, um, you know, I've got this random bunch of guys playing guitars in the background. So if I export that, you'll notice at the top here, um, yeah, it's just shot across and a folder has appeared on my desktop called Pixelated Photographer and there is a file at just under 400k and as you can see, it's quite big. That is the actual size of that picture. So um, it's big enough, completely big enough for, for a web purpose. Um, the other way to get to the... Um, that go through that menu if you don't want to see all of the options and deal with all that kind of stuff then just file export with preset and then you can just click pixelated photographer and again it'll do its little thing and it'll dump it and it'll tell you where it is there you go and it's call it dash two now because it knows that it's, it's a duplicate again it's exactly the same and the third way of doing it whoops uh, third way is actually right clicking and export and you can do it there, pixelated photographer right at the bottom. So, you know, you can actually do this with multiple files. Just highlight all the files you want to do. Um, right click, export, pixelated photographer. And then as you, you'll notice that it will go through all of the files that's there. And they'll slowly appear in, in that um, folder. Actually, that's the wrong folder completely or something else. So there you go. You can see all of the pictures are now coming through one by one. 
There you go, and they're all the same size. So, uh, as I said, I want to really quickly go over as well the Photoshop way of doing it. Um, it's actually not too difficult. So, I'm at the moment, I'm kind of currently building actions, but they're not working because sometimes they can be quite fiddly to get them to work on other people's computers. They're quite fine and easy to actually sort out an action list for your own computer and it'll all work fine. But then when you dra drag that kind of action to somebody else's computer, it looks for folders, it looks for for different things so it's kind of difficult to set up for somebody else's stuff so I'll come back to that on a different different tutorial at a different time but here's like a quick um, way of doing it right so let's get a file um, any file will do open it and pick into Photoshop there's a really rubbish picture <laughs> that's embarrassing right okay so um, we've got the picture here so now you just want to reduce that in size and as you can see at the bottom here that is actually a very large um, file size 34 meg JPEG so what we want to do is we just want to chuck it down you know to a sensible file size so the best way to do that is go to file go to save uh, um, save for web and devices now let me warn you if your file is huge you've got lots of layers pressing this button could just lock up your PC or your Mac and um, you just got to wait for it to do its thing so for example if I click on this it's going to warn me there you go there's a warn warning right basically it comes up with memory errors if the image is too big especially if you've got an old computer this could be troublesome for you um, but this is now you know the more powerful computers are getting the you know um, it's getting easier and easier to use this um, function so you just click yeah whatever and what it'll do is then you got just thought about god that is an awful image isn't it and <laughs> um, that's what you get for randomly picking a picture so as you can see it's got in the corner there originally 34 meg um, and it's saving it as a 2 meg so for example, you know, all you need to do is just think about the kind of pixel width you need uh, to do something in. So, for example, I know that um, the front page of our blog is like 700 pixels, for example. Or roughly that's the size of the, the main forum width as well. So if I put in 700 pixels, you can see that it's, it's shrunk it down by 17%. And there you go, you can see that it's just shifted it down. And also you can see that it's 128, uh, 125k there. Basically it's a JPEG. It's a very high, you can actually just chuck that up all the way at this, at this level. Um, it's optimized, everything. If you want to keep your metadata in, you can do that. Or you can take it completely out, you know, through this option, which is a very, very handy little tool if you don't want people to know, or you do want people to know what kind of metadata, what metadata you have. So there you go, then we just click save and it'll ask you where you want to save it. Let's uh, dump it into that pixelated photographer folder we were just messing around with. New. And you can ignore all this stuff. That's uh, mainly if you've got um, slices cut up and things like that for web based stuff. But generally, you don't need to worry about any of that type of stuff. Click save and then it's done. So let's have a look in the folder. There you go. It's um, that one in that case is 300k, and it's big enough completely for a website or um, blog or something like that. And to be the you know the thing is it's probably not good enough quality. If we bring it back in, um, you know you can see that that's really not good enough quality to print. So you know it's ideal if you don't want somebody using your pictures. Of course, you know, you can, because um, these are all saved at, I believe, uh, 72 D DPI. Um, there you go, 72 T DPI at the width of 700, which is what we just specced. And that's it. Um, what I will do is I'll come back and I will talk more about Photoshop Actions. Um, they're, they're quite um, detailed and you can go on for hours on these things. I don't want to bore anybody senseless. So we'll do that on a separate time. So that's it from me. Check out the website pixelatedphotographer.com. Yes, thank you. Great. Bye. <laughs>